All right, hi fans, welcome again to my channel. I just want to do a quick update on some of the trade setup we looked at in our previous video. Um, I want to check out Crash 1000 because I saw something interesting that I want to check out. In one of the videos we looked at Crash 1000, um, I think it was in the liquidity video where we talked about types of liquidity, the first two types of liquidity and what it means and how to spot them. Why taking chat example, we looked at this asset crash 1000 on synthetic indices. And uh, if I go to daily, what we are looking at at that time, market has not printed all these, but currently market has printed some interesting things. So. We just want to look at all that. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're looking at this to play out. We're expecting that price will come and give us something like this because then we had this liquidity sweep from what we... Price had not given us all this price action. These candles have not been printed. So, and price broke these lows. So we're looking at the range as this is the top range. This as the top range. And then this as the low range. Because after, after structure, we established that it was bearish. They will need to check out top range and low range. All these candles have not been printed at that time. So we had uh, we had an imbalance. We had equal highs here. We're looking at internal liquidity of these equal highs. Then we had an imbalance here. We're presuming that price should come into or all of these. Uh, institutional candles. So we're expecting to take a sell from VA down to this side. But what did market do? Price came into that place and gave us that retracement. So let's go to one hour. Let me show you what, how price later played out. If you had played according to our checklist, you'd have been able to get this was that uh, potential area for redistribution. This was it. Price came into that place. Let me remove all of this so that it becomes clear. Price came into that place. The first thing price did when price came into that region was to give us a break of structure. Because we want to find out at um, your potential area, I want to see that distribution, the lower time frame entry. Or some of you that still have issues with lower time frame entry. Now price came, give us a high, a low, higher high, higher low, higher high, and they came and broke below this. So this was the break of structure which I spotted. And then this was the break of structure which I spotted on the one hour. I dropped this uh, in the Telegram group for those that are in the Telegram group. So if you are not still in Telegram group, I think you need to go to the description on this page. I'm going to be dropping the Telegram link there. Join us there because sometimes we don't have the time to make the videos when price is at a point of interest. We just drop what we are seeing so that people can take advantage of it. So when we had this break of structure, this is what I was looking at. There was an imbalance within this place. You can see the imbalance, this imbalance here. I marked it out. Then I had my limit around this place. I was expecting price to come to this place. I played the top of this imbalance. That was 50% of the imbalance. And then my stop loss was above here, was on this high expecting to take price down to this place, the external liquidity, which was this. So price came in and gave all this a one to four, one to four. You were risking $10, you made 40. 
hundred dollars to make four hundred. So I have my limit here, and price gave us a one to four. Normally, we advise you take one to three. You are sure price can give you one to three. Sometimes it can reverse, but here price gave us that one to three and even went to one to four. I think I I had my I'll take profit at this point. Price came, tapped me, and then went back to clear entry. This is what I stated in one of my videos. You are not the one to control the market. You're only trading what you are seeing. So sometimes analysis might be correct and price will choose to do what it wants to do. And that is why you need to apply risk management. If you don't know what one to three means, one to two, one to four, you can drop that in the comment section. I'm going to make a video on risk management so that you can know how to calculate your risk per trade. You want me to make that video? You can just go to the comment section and drop it. Hey, farms, we need risk management video. So price gave us this one to four. If you're risking $10, you should be making $40. And then price came and clicked this. Now our setup is invalid. It has been violated. So what do we do? We go back to the daily. We go and reanalyze the market. We reanalyze to see where we should be looking at again. And it's, it's obvious. It's, it's very obvious. I can see it already. Price is still bearish, but we still have these tons of liquidity above. We have these tons of liquidity. Sorry. Of, 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 we have this imbalance within this region. I also spotted this on one of the videos that price might come to this area and distribute. Price might come to this imbalance above. Yeah, I said so. So these are imbalances above this liquidity. So price might come to any of this region to distribute. So since this is violated, this becomes our next point of interest. We want to see that distribution within that place. Yeah, let me make widen this to you. Yeah, something like this. Okay, something like this. These are these are next point of interest. You can see how this created this structure, cleared all these lows. So this becomes our top range. Let me bring the top range here. Top range. I should extend this. Top range. This is our top range. And this remains our down range. We still expect price to come back into this place and sweep the low. So these are down range. Our trading range. So now since we have established the top range and the down range, we're expecting price to come into this place. If I take out my feed for extra confirmation on this high, get my feed from this high down to this low, Make sure it's on the high week to week. As I said, if it is week to week, okay. Yeah, something like that. You're gonna see that the imbalances we have below above here aligns with our premium zones. Aligns with our premium zones. So that's what that's the update I said. Let me show us. We should be looking at this now. Price can come into this place, any of this place. And then we can have a move downwards, a move downwards. This is what I am looking at. I'm going to be dropping this on um, in the Telegram channel. So if you are not there, a Telegram group rather, not a channel, a group, where we analyze trades together, look at setup, and then we try to make sense out of the market. If you catch trade from here on a lower time frame of 15 minutes and you take it down, of course, that will give you a good, risk reward so price already giving us this equal highs here you can see like this is an equal high price already giving us that equal high there telling you that i'm coming back for it you can see that equal highs to be created you can see this equal highs here this equal highs is already valid as you can see this is equal highs at this region so price is coming to play all of this liquidity these are liquidity zones price is attracted to yeah, let me use this for this, yeah. Something like this, the liquidity zones. 
price is going to clear them off and then we head down i'm going to drop this in the telegram uh group so if you are not there go ahead hit it up okay okay i'll drop it there all right let's go to let's see if we can analyze another one let's also check vix okay let me drop this first i'll check out vix 25 and tell us the next entry we should be looking at thank you fans keep an eye on this peace out